Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Will again here. So today what we are doing is doing a pre-tupping check on the tups. So what we're doing today is fertility testing the tups. So the vets are coming out from Glenthorne and what they're going to be doing is individually testing all of our um, stock rams. So that is the plan for today. It should be really interesting. We haven't done it before and we probably should have done it before because it's a really good thing to do to make sure that you don't have any disasters at tupping time. So that is the plan for today. If you do enjoy the video guys, please give it a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, just smash that subscribe button because there's new videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven in the morning. Cheers guys, I hope you enjoy. Right, so we are just waiting for the vet to turn up. The question is, are any of these rams actually gonna be duds? So we've actually used all of these before. They've all performed really well. Just be interesting to see if they actually are as good as we thought they were. So usually, Goliath and Ignite My Fire go to 50 odd use. I know people put them to a lot more use, but it'd be nice to know which ones are actually more fertile. So possibly we could put them onto more use, but yeah, what we'll do, we'll come back when the vet gets here and she'll explain it a little better than me and we'll crack on with it. So I'll see you in a little bit, guys. Go on. Go on, fella. Go on, mate, go on. Up you go. Go on, good lads. Right, so we're now here. We've got the first top in place. So we're doing Ignite My Fire. We got Nicola from the local vet, Glen Form, and she's just going to explain to us exactly what we are doing today. Right, so first things first, we're going to examine him to make sure there's no obvious problems. Um, and then we will use this tape to measure his scrotal circumference, and that will give us an idea of how uh, large his testicles are, and that can, um, you know, have, a, have give us an idea of, of whether there's any issues or not. Um, we'll record his details, we'll record his body condition score, and then we will go about getting the sample, which involves inserting this probe gently up his rectum, which then um, emits an electric pulse through his accessory sex glands, and then I will catch the sample down below, and Perfect. then we will go and look at it. Brill. That's Thank you for that. <laughs> Let's measure his scrotal circumference. What we're doing is basically feeling for any lumps and, lumps and bumps. Yeah. yeah, you can feel the epididymis at the bottom. And then, oh, gosh, you're intent on backing up, aren't you, mate? We're going to measure his scrotal circumference at the widest point. What like, should it measure at least? Lowland. How old is he? Three year old. 36, 38. Right, okay. Yeah. So we're 38 there, so that's really oh, that's good. Cool. Yeah. Well, and that, they're, they're not too soft. They're, got a nice bit of tone to them so that's good right, okay so as long as that flat bit is at the bottom gently insert that he will react in that he'll go like Joel. rigid yeah and yeah. um, because you're catching his nerves that are supplying his hind limbs okay. as well yeah. so that's all part of it i've got a little bit of something but i don't actually think it's his proper sample he's definitely getting an erection and he's reacting to it nicely yeah. so what are you doing now based taking so, the sample to yeah, put on the slide yeah what i'm doing now is yeah literally that so we'll take a sample yeah and we'll pop it on the slide and then what we do is pop it in something called phosphate buffered saline which is that like a buffer yeah yeah so that just basically helps us um examine it more closely what we do is we put our phosphate on there yeah we put our drop of semen on there and one drop in there to dilute so we go low power first uh, right so we do have semen in this sample oh cool um but unfortunately they are not moving very well at all so there's no swirl on that at all yeah um which actually would suggest that he's not very fertile at all. Oh. Right guys, so as you've probably just seen, the first tuck we tested, Ignite My Fire, his mobility wasn't very good at all, so it was about 50% 
and this was just the start of what we thought was a disaster. When we were going through each of the individual tuts, we kept getting really poor results. So with the next four tuts, we had some tuts that had no sperm count at all in the samples, and some just had sperm that was like almost dead and not even mobile at all. So this was quite a worry for us and we didn't know what was going on. So as you can probably see through these clips over the top of what I'm talking through, we kept going through sampling and testing. It was a real puzzle and we didn't really know what to do. So we're gonna join the video back after we've tested the five tops just to go through to see what could be the result. And who knows, all five of them could have been infertile. Let's try again. Number one again. I think. You, oh, hello. That is the swirl I was talking about. Come on. <laughs> so that's probably a four. Okay. Um, if you want to have a look at this, you're more than welcome. You look a little bit relieved. Well, I'm a bit stressed about why I wasn't getting a decent sample. I think they just needed a bit more time. Oh, definitely. So the first ones were all like water where these yeah. have come out like a proper sample. So now if these are empty, then that's a worry. Yeah, see that moving? Yeah. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, this is a five. That is swelling like perfect. a five. It's really boiling. Oh, you can see that now. Whoa. I'm sweating. You can see that. So basically because that's going around that show and the mobility is really good. Yeah, and then what we're gonna do here is check that's this is progressive motility that we do with this diluting it down, and that yeah. is to make sure that we're getting this forward motion. Rather than just random. Rather than just, yeah, we're going around in circles. Right guys, so I've just quickly popped on screen what semen motility is, not the mobility like I keep saying. But basically, this is how well the semen moves around. Number one is poor, number five is excellent. I just wanted to quickly explain that. It's not as good as the last one. Yeah. So this is like a slow swirl. Yeah. Uh, but not getting the wave, so I'd grade him about a three. Right, okay. So, so just appreciate the difference with that one. Yeah. Um, so could that be down to age more yeah. than anything? Yeah. I would still use it. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. And then. I would just not use him again. Honest. Yeah. I think what we had initially was that we weren't getting the proper samples because they've not had any uh, action. Yeah. I think it's still a three, you're not getting yeah, those dark waves. Yeah. Yeah. I maybe won't put into a blow to a few Give him a small group. Yeah, yeah. See what he does. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think that's the, that is exactly the aim of what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, is working out what can be used where and not just relying on him to go into underviews and get them all pregnant. Yeah. Because yeah. I wouldn't rely on him to do that. No. Yeah. But he's a good guy, he's got good genetics, yeah, yeah. so let's use him to our advantage and just give yeah. him a small number. And if he gets a small number in that, you keep his replacements. Yeah. Bill breeds all his own replacements. Yeah. So. Cool. Now I'm happy. Happy. Let's go do number four again yeah. and then. Yeah, then we're all. I think we're then covered, aren't we? Yeah. That's like syrup. Oh, yeah. You can see I, that. I can see that yeah. from here. Yeah. You can get like microscope cameras. Yeah. Well, I'm relieved now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to... Well, you might get some lambs now, Will. Yeah. Let's stress him out. You can probably... Can you see that moving without even... Without looking down the microscope? Can you see movement? Yeah. That's a really good sample. Let me just get it in focus for you. So what you can see is just swirls, and that is... Yeah, that is that's a really sample. lively. Yeah. <laughs> I think what we are dealing with, because this is the second time now, yeah, we're jumping into told, yeah. yeah, is because I think they've just not been near any females. Yeah. You know what to do. I've just time. never experienced yeah. it with a. We'll put a U next like store next time. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth. It's still definitely worth doing year on year because you don't know what problems no. they're going to have. But I was getting worried that something might have just affected them all. But that yeah, is like fantastic. Another virus or something. Yeah. yeah. You never know, do you? No. Right guys, so that is us done and that is all the Tuts fertility sampled. So it's been an interesting day. It's been a learning curve too. So all the Tuts are well enough fertile to go with the use. That's really good. We got all five there. The only one that was a slight worry was Goliath. So he's a lot older than the rest of them. 
he's still fertile, like he's still good enough to go in with the ewes, he's just a little less, so we're probably gonna put him with a smaller group of ewes this year. There's no neat reason not to because he's been a really good breathing tup, actually our best breathing tup, so that is that. The rest are all completely fine. We've got a really, really good high fertility and good mobility and all the technical words the vet said. So today has been a learning curve, like I said. I think there's a lot of people that would actually benefit from this because I know not many people do it and it can save you a hell of a lot of money. I've heard some horror stories over the years of people that have put tups in, then they come back up and when they get scanned, none of them are pregnant. So this is a cosmic 30 pound a tub and you just think about it like this if one of those goes to 50 ewes at about 180 percent what is that 50 ewes 180 percent is approximately 90 ish lambs 90 ish lambs at 110 pound each nearly 10,000 pounds for a 30 pound fertility sample so you do the maths and i don't want to be losing that kind of money so these guys are so important to the flock they're basically five of the most important sheep in the flock so we want them to be right and we want everything to be right for lambing and throughout the year so really good today massive thank you to Glenform vets as well for letting me film and um, they were really good today obviously as you saw before we did them all once and there was a big worry because we thought that they're infertile happens is because they haven't seen any females all year and um, when we did the when we collected the semen again they're completely fine just because i haven't had any female contact in a long time but yeah guys really good one hope you enjoyed it if you did please give the video a massive like if you want to see more stuff just like this smash that subscribe button then you get to see the videos every wednesday and saturday at half seven in the morning cheers guys i'll see you all soon